Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, creating um, mechanisms and then capturing it to video files and um, eventually uploading to YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be recreating this uh, assembly of this uh, just simple three piston um, engine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start by assembling my parts. I'm going to go drop this in. I set it as default. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my p other parts. I'm gonna first add the uh, camshaft. So this is going to sit underneath here. Um, we need to make sure this is set not automatic. Um, or not use a default we want to make sure it's a pin that way it spins so make sure it's a pin we'll stick it here um, and then we want it to sit so it sits like that so what we're going to end up doing to constrain it uh, the best I have it built in a way that I can use my planes so the planes of my camshaft, the center plane will meet up with the center plane here. Sits up perfectly. Okay. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, my next parts. Let me just turn off my planes real quick. Alright. We're going to add not the head. I'm going to add this portion of the piston first. This is going to be another pin because it's going to slide on the cam, okay? And then what we're gonna end up doing is say that this is not coincidence, but it's gonna be about one inch, one uh, millimeter away. Uh, my, uh, don't forget, this is going to end up having to go to millimeters. That's why it's not going to work. There we go. Now it's in the right spot. Okay. So, what's this going to do now? If I want to drag this, it's going to be able to spin up and down. I'm just going to kind of place it there for now. So on my next parts, um, this is going to be another pin, surface of this is going to go against the surface of this, and then I'm going to use planes again, because I have planes set up, so that and that, now it's center, good, alright, and then finally, one more part and then this, this uh, piston will be complete. The piston. We're going to have another pin definition. It's going to be that to that. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to constrain it with planes. So this plane and this plane. And then what we're gonna end up doing, we want a cylinder constraint as well. So we're gonna actually add a new set. That way it slides in, in and out of the cylinder perfectly. This new set is going to be a cylinder constraint. And then we turn off my planes, make it easier to see. I'm gonna select this cylinder cylinder there and this cylinder, and then we should be good. So what that's gonna end up doing is when I use the drag component this out of the way so you can see. I drag this and I spin the camshaft. The uh, piston will go in and it will use the cylinder and it will stay in the line with the cylinder of mount. And for the uh, sake of time, I'm not going to go ahead and add the other uh, the other pistons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on here. So I have a full constrained one. 
I'm gonna delete this motor so I can show you how to create it. So we're gonna go ahead and add a motor in. Um, so we're gonna go to applications and we're gonna go to mechanisms. We wanna add a servo motor. So all we're gonna really end up doing is we're gonna, we have these axes in which things can spin. So what we're gonna end up doing is we wanna spin the camshaft on an axis. So I'm gonna select this axis here. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to profile details and what we wanna do is change it from angular position to angular velocity. And we're gonna say that, let's say the velocity is 100 degrees a second as an example. We'll click check. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna check the mechanism analysis and see how it works. Click that, this will pop up. We go and hit run here and it should spin our motor and our camshaft and we can change the uh, timing so it's longer and so on um, once that's done what we can do the playback button right next to the mechanism analysis we can use it and we'll select this here and what we can end up doing we can end up capturing the um, video of it moving. Um, we can hit play here. It's kind of slow. We'll move the speed up so it's faster. And the whole idea here is once we have this set, we can capture this animation and save it as an MPG file. You can change your aspect ratio, image size, frames per second. Um, and when we save it to the computer, we can then upload it to YouTube. And that, that'd be the method best to um, share the video file is to just upload it to YouTube and you all have YouTube accounts set up through your APSG um, Google accounts.